Are we going to see this baseball game? How exciting! Yes. Can you believe today's Christmas? Very nutritious. What type of noodles do you serve? Oh, Japanese. What does she want to read this? You know, I think this There's an awful lot of blood leading into the surgery center basement. Should try and find a way down there. just about done. Our little mistake is finally going to be corrected. Oh, naughty, naughty. You're not supposed to be down here, but that's okay. I can fix that. I can fix anything. What did you do to Earl Sterling, Doctor? What did I do? I, I didn't do anything. It was, uh, it was Earl. It was Earl who didn't want to be happy. Good patients get a nice, new face. Bad patients bleed all over the floor because they want to screw up their surgeon's life! So you were performing surgery, and Earl didn't make it. Is that it? I, uh, might have had just a bit of jet before operating. So I nipped a few arteries I shouldn't have. Who hasn't? But I'm a problem solver, you see. I knew if Earl disappeared, everyone would just think the Institute took him. Why would people think the Institute took Earl Sterling? That's what they do. That's what they've always done. As long as there's no body, everyone just assumes. And that's why Earl's body needs to go away. So that's what you were doing? Cutting Earl's body up? You can't just get rid of 200 pounds of cadaver without attracting attention. Fortunately, the butcher shop is close by. If their trash pile just happens to have an extra box of rotten meat every week, who would think to look too closely? You really think you can get away with this? Get away with this? <laughs> Don't you know who I am? I'm Doc Crocker. Doc Crocker never does anything wrong. And once this is all over, no one will have any reason to question that. You've killed a man, Doctor. You're going to pay for it. Put the gun down and come with me. You would be wise to listen. This is a mercy being offered to you. I... I... I did it, didn't I? I killed a man. Oh... Oh, God. <laughs> well, there's so much blood. <laughs> So much blood all over me. I can fix anything. What's going on here? Is is that Doctor Croc? Looks like it'll be a closed casket funeral. Hey, Doc. I think you owe me an explanation. What happened here? Did you know what Doc Crocker was doing down here? That's Earl Sterling's body, isn't it? Somewhere in the back of my mind, I knew he had gone through with the surgery. So, Earl didn't just vanish. The procedure went badly, and Dr. Crocker was just trying to cover it up. You didn't know. It's not your fault. Of course it's not my fault. Moron and his damn appearance over practice mentality. Now, two lives have been lost. It's disgraceful. I better report all this to security. Get out of here. 
It's going to take a long time to clean this place of biohazards. Is the world full of such tragedy? I thought this was hey. only in books. I need to ask you something. I have made some medicine for you, if you like. Your thoughts? Such a wonder. The Institute has advanced bioengineering to such a degree. So much power is contained in such a small, tiny chip. That's all for now. Not a problem. Everyone else may be closed, but Diamond City Surplus is open 24 hours a day. What do you sell here? Oh, everything, sir. Miss Myrna prizes herself on being a collector of quality odds and ends from all over the Commonwealth. We also buy any unwanted item. I'll take a look, sure. The highest quality available. person pals around with a robot. Oh my god. That is sin. Good Valentine. Good work. All set scared the hell out of me. Enjoy your stay in Diamond City. Now, excuse me. Mayor McDonough. I have somewhere to be. Sorry. No funny business around the mayor. Got it? Hey, officer. Look, I'm telling you, it ain't just a story. University Point, that settlement on the coast, wiped out by cents. I'm too friggin' slow to... to join the Meta Man. Geneva. Need something, honey? Housing permit? Looking for a job? Well, let's hear about the permit. We have one home available. It's in the center of town, right near the market. You can do whatever you like with the interior, and all the tools you need to make your own furnishings are provided at no extra charge. I'll take it. Here's the key. Let me be the first to welcome you as a resident of the Great Green Jewel. Come back tomorrow. Office is closed. Hey, Geneva. Mayor's office is closed.
something before the troubles, yes? If I ever need repairs, you seem more than capable with your tinkerings.
You cause trouble, there's gonna be trouble. Got it? Word is something bad like that in the old museum of witchcraft. Excuse me. Hey, Scaver. Got plenty of Brahmin meat on the hooks. Wait, what kind of meat is this? You never heard of Brahmin? Big, dumb, got four legs and two heads? They're the only cattle around. Everything's fresh from the Codman family farms. Sometimes... They get weird stuff from the caravans, too. I've got a few minutes to browse. Check out these cuts. I don't know why we let Valentine live in the city. He saves one or two people, and everyone forgets he's a freaking simp. Jim, I need to talk. Just a minute, get him. I am in middle of story. So then, I am crossing river, right? Wearing nothing but a smile. When will out come? even the sky the is safe. Did you see that? Old sea monsters. The brotherhood of Mayerler. Who are they? A Mayerler. Hi there. Come on. Drink. That's like two out of ten points of danger. Tops. Now, if you want to talk something really deadly. Jim! Oh, I forgot you were there, Yaki. What is it? You know what? Never mind. I'll handle it myself. See this bar? I killed a man for it. <laughs> No, no, I kid, I kid. <coughs> he is dead, though. <laughs> now, let me know when you're ready to order. So, this your bar? Damn straight it is. My brother Yefim and I make the best moonshine in the entire Commonwealth. We call it Bobrov's Best. Had to start renting out rooms just so customers uh, had a place to safely pass out after drinking it. <laughs> I'll take a look, sure. 
Don't order just one now. Leave it up. Excuse me. Hey, what's your story? Mercenary, caravan guard. You first. What's your name? Hawthorne. And you are definitely from out of town. I know every settlement from both sides of the Charles River, and I've never seen you. Anyway, I'm just kicking back and sharing stories while I'm between things. I've been all over, seen vaults, pre-war ruins, and plenty of monsters. You've been to a vault? Yeah. Ever heard of Vault 81? They're standoffish, but every once in a while, they'll let new people in. So you explore old ruins? Last place I was going to check out was Salem. Real old town far to the north. Never made it, though. Got a bad feeling about that area. Let's hear your best monster story. I'm from Diamond City. You want to talk something really scary? It's the Institute in their sense. Don't go to University Point. Trust me. You don't want to know what they're capable of. See you around, Hawthorne. Later. Busy here. Just buy or sell whatever you need to get lost. Need a room? Did you know Earl Sterling? One of my brother's old friends. Oh boy. The way those two would go on about girls, you'd think Vadim is loud now. Earl was a horrible womanizer, and I warned him more than once to leave the staff and customers alone. But my brother always stood up for him. Honestly, kind of glad he's gone. He wouldn't shut up about the new face he was going to get at the major surgery center. Vain till the end. Anyway, did you want a room? What's the story with this place? Not much to say. We sell food, drink, and rooms. Mainly for traders that come to the area. My brother Vadim runs the bar. Scarlet's our waitress, and she helps me keep the rooms clean. As much as they can be. Not today. Suit yourself. Whatever you want, I ain't got time. Self-prescribed camp is recommended by me myself. Don't be caught dead. <laughs> Protection. Miss? Uh, hello. Have you been here before? What's it matter? Because Fallon's isn't a charity. The clothes are for sale if you have the money. No lifting, all right? You have some kind of problem with shoplifters? Nothing me and my 10-gauge haven't been able to handle. Now that we understand each other, welcome to Fallon's. Happy to show you everything in stock. Fallon's Basement. Interesting name. Yeah, it's ancient. There was a Fallon's here back even before the war. Granddad always said we had a tradition of quality and affordability. Guess affordability got too expensive for some folks. Damn thieves. And it ain't like Diamond City Security helps. Why doesn't Diamond City Security help you? <sighs> My husband got taken, all right, by the Institute. Security wouldn't look into it. I raised a stink, and now I'm blacklisted. Your husband was taken by the Institute? Well, he ain't here anymore, that's for sure. Not like the Institute leaves a trail besides those damn synths. What do you know about synths? Just what I read in the papers. That the Institute builds them, and some even look human. So much you can't tell the real difference. Lucky me, huh? The Institute takes my Charlie and doesn't even bother replacing him. I'll take a look, sure. A paying customer. Finally. Oh, here we go. Uh, Quiet. You might want to think about. All right, you. You know. Tell me. Diamond City Radio is terrible. Oh, yes. It makes you want to cut your own ears off. I don't think I noticed. You listen to it. 
with grates on ears like sandpaper. Must be done, and soon. We will have customers suiciding before long. But, Tim... It's true. No, no, no. Don't listen to my brother. Someone needs to get rid of him. We need a new DJ for the radio. I don't think many would notice if he, you know, he disappeared. Are you serious? Did we not just agree this is serious problem? Calls for serious solution. First, you get him to follow you out of town. All right, that's enough. Vadim isn't serious. He doesn't really want to kill Travis. I'm not stupid. I wasn't falling for it. We weren't trying to trick you or anything. Vadim just likes to joke. <laughs> It's true. Only jokes. Travis is a good friend. Yefim and I worry about him. Well, Travis, he, he means well, but he does not have the confidence he needs for that job. Or anything else, really. And so he's always awkward. He does not believe in himself, you see? He expects he will fail at everything, and so he does. Well, something like that could be tough to change. No, it's easy to fix. I tell you, Fim, over and over. Go on, spoil sport. Go back to working. We will figure out how to help Travis. Come, you. Meet me in back room. We discuss plan. Don't know you, Scarver. I'll take your order whenever you're ready. Come, come. Have a drink. I. What do you want, Vadim? I am glad you are willing to help. Unlike my deadbeat brother! Travis is a good guy. He deserves better life. I'd be happy to help. Okay, so Travis needs to believe in himself, yes? Believe he is capable of more. You know what works well for this? <laughs> A bar fight. Ever been in one? I can hold my own, if that's what you mean. Hold your own? What? Exactly what I mean. I want you to back up Travis in his first fight. I want to stage fight here in Dugga. Nothing too serious. Uh, we make sure Travis wins and feels good about himself after. I want you to be there to help make it look real. What do you think? Sound good to you? I'm on board. When do we start? Why not soon as possible? I have contacts. People I can count on. Real tough looking. But they will take a dive for money. They confront Travis here at Dugout. You step in and give him push he needs to stand up to them. Then you and Travis take them down. Nothing gets too rough. And Travis is something he can feel good about. Simple, right? I have everything ready by six o'clock. Travis should be here by then. You show up and it will go well. Promise. Tell me if you need a room. Me and my wife. Why don't you mind your own damn business for once? Oh, God, Paul, why do you always have to make a scene? Pour me another drink, Henry. Damn it, Darcy, I just want you to come home. I'll be home later. I can't believe you'd do this to me, Cook. Do what to you, Paul? You smug bastard. You keep away from my wife, God damn it. You'd better get out of here before you do something stupid. You son of a bitch. Don't hurt him, Henry. Go on. Get out of here. I'll be at home, Darcy. Taking care of our son. Sorry I had to see that. Things are usually a lot quieter around here. Perfect place to drink, if you're buying. What was that argument about? Uh, nothing much. You see, Darcy here likes to relax and enjoy life from time to time, 
And her husband Paul doesn't. He's not a bad guy, really. Just a little uptight. Too bad he can't learn to relax, huh, Darcy? Shut up. I don't come here to talk about Paul. You there! I haven't seen you in here before. Why don't you make yourself useful and buy me a drink or something? You come here often? As often as I can. Henry is so good at listening to my troubles. Troubles? What would you know about that? Now, can I get you something to drink? So is this your place? That's right. Owner, bartender, sympathetic ear. I try to provide a little oasis from the hardships of life. Name's Cook, by the way. Henry Cook. Let me know if I can get you anything. I've got a few minutes to browse. Here's the menu. <clears throat> now here is where you want to be. Anyone who's anyone drinks here. Hi. Why, hello there. So lovely to see more young people up here in the stands. <laughs> We're also. You just well, walked hey right there. up into Are the you stands, lost? didn't you? I like your stones. Hey there. Well, hello there. Another one of the poor and stupid of Diamond City come begging for table scraps? I don't beg, you stuck up old bat. Fine. Go ahead and pretend you're someone important. I'm getting bored. Why don't you make yourself scarce? Who are you, anyway? Anne Codman. Of the Codman family? Of the upper stands? If you haven't heard of us, that just shows how unimportant you are. Now, were you leaving or not? And Miss Basking in your delightful personality? Do what you like, but I'm done talking to you. Hi, Mrs. Codman. You're still here? Problem? No problem at all. My programming dictates that I serve all customers in the colonial tap house. Even those that obviously don't belong. Just know that my senses indicate that you have dangerously low levels of class for this establishment. Let's see what you have. If you insist. coming up here, but must you insist on speaking to me? <clears throat> you bore me. That's all. Right. You heard about that settlement? Covenant? Nice. Real clean. Strict entrance requirements, though. You're bothering me. Hey, Hawthorne. The best part of Diamond City is honestly the last spot. Vadim. Good to see you returning customers. <laughs> oh, what's wrong? Not so tough once you're not on the air. You tell him. Hey there, pal. Oh, it's you. Everything okay here? Does it look okay? Because... No. It is not. I don't... I have no idea what I did to deserve this. I just wish they'd go away. Come on, man. Take a stand. Don't chicken out here. I, I don't think I, I could uh, do that thing that you're describing. <laughs> With these men, it could, well, it, it, it could turn violent. Don't be such a coward. I'm not a coward. You must stand up for yourself. Okay, that's... well, that's enough. Oh. 
I'm sorry. You say something. I said, I said, that's enough. Leave me alone. <laughs> Look at you. Beat it, pal. Mm, let me think about that for a second. Oh, nah. I don't think so. I mean it. Leave me alone! Well, sounds like you were thinking about saying, or else. <laughs> were you, Travis? Were you gonna say, Beat it, or pal. else? I'm wondering what comes after that. Hello. Do, little man. Beat it, pal. I'll, I'll beat you up. Big mistake, Travis. I'm gonna destroy you and your friend here. Oh, I am in combat again. <laughs> My primary loss is not coming. Later, I will review these logs for relevant data. Hello. Get lost. Oh, there is to be fight. You. Oh, jeez. I am so, so sorry. I don't want to say I told you, but I kind of told you it ended up like this. So, how was your first fist fight? Have fun? Not really, no. But, I mean, I guess, you know, I'm still alive. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't the end of the world. I'm gonna go now, but, uh, thanks. Thanks for, you know, sticking up for me. Totally deserved it. Those guys were assholes. Of course they were assholes. That was the whole point. <sighs> I will try and fix the situation which you have made mess of. In meantime, I need you to not kill anyone and help with the rest of the plan. Okay? You have seen Scarlet, yes? She has worked here for some time. Now, I am just simple bartender, but I see things. I see how Travis looks at her. And I see that sometimes she looks at him. If someone who was not her employer suggests that she go spend time with Travis, it might do him some good. Oh, that'll totally boost his confidence. You know, as long as it doesn't backfire horribly. So little faith. It will work. Trust me. Apparently, I also need to say, please do not be killing anyone. Okay? This is for helping Travis, not murdering for fun. Just do whatever it takes to get her to agree to see Travis, and this will all be worth it. And you and I never talked about this, all right? Here you think Diamond City is a rust bucket? What, you lost? Look, I ain't just it. leave me alone. Busy here. Here are my slippers after this shit. <sighs> Miss? I'm on a break right now. Can I ask you something personal? 
It's about Travis. Travis? Really? Did he... Did he mention me? Yeah, I heard about the fight. Travis was... Well, he was brave. Not exactly. But it wouldn't hurt to check on him to see how he's doing. Oh, you really think so? I mean, I've definitely noticed him. Maybe... No. No, I couldn't just go over there. Look, either you can go visit Travis, or you can go visit the doctor. Your choice. You seem like a psycho. God, fine, I'll go. I just want to trade a few things. Thank you. It's like I can finally think straight. Good, and look what's happened now. You've got to help. I can't do it. You've got to help me. Would you calm down? I can't understand a damn thing. I can't calm down. They took Vadim. Men came in. They said they were friends of the ones you killed. Uh, said Vadim owed them money because of what happened. He, he wouldn't pay. And then they grabbed him and said that they would make him pay. And then they just dragged him out. You have to do something. Please tell me you can do something. I'll bring him back, Yefim. Count on it. Please, just bring him back. He's an idiot, but he's my brother. I'd go with you, but someone has to stay here. I'll talk to Travis. Maybe he knows where they took him. Need new clothes? Should stop by Fallon's basement. Oh. Heard there was some trouble over at that vault that he won. Something about a quarantine? <laughs> I need your help. The Dean's been kidnapped by friends of Bull. That's not funny. I'm not screwing around here, Travis. I need to know, right now. You're not... you weren't joking? Oh... oh man, wow, is this... This is because of what happened, isn't it? It's... it's my fault. Yes, this is absolutely your fault. And it's on your head if something happens to Vadim. So start talking. Oh man... I can't believe this. This will not help, Monsieur Mines. Look, I don't, I don't really, I mean, I don't have a lot of friends. If Vadim is missing, or in trouble, or whatever, then I'm going to help get him back. All right. I'd welcome the help. Good. I didn't, I didn't want to have to argue about it with you. I've heard enough to know they'll probably hold up at the old Beantown Brewery. We've got to go in there, show them we mean business, and, and then we can bring Vadim back, and everything will be okay. Right? I'll, I'll get a gun, and I'll meet you there. We'll settle this. Scarlet. I'm on a break right now. stuff together. 
and I'll meet you there. anyone would come. I thought perhaps this is the end. Uh, thank you. Thank you. You are true friend. We can talk about it later. Let's get moving. Yes. Yes. I would very much like to go home. <laughs> These idiots had caps and camps just lying around. <laughs> they, they did not notice when I filled my pockets. You deserve what I took. What a day, huh? Hey, listen. I wanted to say thanks. This has been... Well, it's been crazy. But I've learned a lot, I think. I hope so. I'm tired of your shitty, whiny attitude. Yeah, yeah. I know. But he... <sighs> Fine. After all this, I think about the things that had me worried so much, and it just seems... silly, you know? Like, was I really that worried about just being on the radio? That's nothing compared to being beaten up, shot at. I can do so much more. And I need to. Anyway, thanks again. I owe you. Ghouls like to hide in the dark. Makes night patrol really See those big lights? That's right. Working electricity. You're Sullivan, right? I'm just the gate guard. If you need anything, you need to talk to the maid. You there. I, um, I have a question for you. Go ahead. I'm listening. You were in the tap house before, when... You got your ass kicked by your wife's lover. Yeah. Pretty pathetic, right? Guy's sleeping with my wife, and I can't even do anything about it. So, where do I come in? I'm going to go back and talk to him, and I want you to come with me. You saw? You won't take me seriously otherwise. I don't want to have to really hurt him, I just want him to leave Darcy alone. You're going to have to make it worth my while. Is it typical to charge for this kind of service? Uh, well, okay. I can only pay you 80 caps right now, but I'll scrape together more after we take care of Cook. This'll work better if I talk to Cook by myself. You're probably right. I'm so angry at Cook, I might lose control. Just get him to leave Darcy alone. Don't worry. I'll make him suffer. Good. I hope you don't have to kill him, but you can make it as painful as you want. He deserves whatever he gets.
Yeah, yeah, I'll be there. I just have to close up. We need to talk, Cook. Oh, yeah? Is there some kind of problem? You're going to leave Darcy alone. Starting now. Now wait just a goddamn minute. Who do you think you are, walking into my bar and telling me what I'm gonna do? Paul asked me to talk to you, so here I am, asking nicely. And I'm asking you, nicely, to turn back around and go tell Paul to come talk to me himself, if he's man enough. I'm counting to three. One. Two. Why are you counting? Hold up. Don't get crazy on me. We can talk this out. This whole thing with Darcy and me. Bad idea. I admit it. Not like I planned it or anything. She was just always hanging around here. You know how it is. Look. Tell Paul it's over. I swear. I won't even let her in my bar anymore. Is that good enough for you? A promise to be good? That's your offer. You're right. It wouldn't be enough if I was in his shoes. I have an idea. Something I've been thinking about for a while already. Kill two birds with one stone, you know? Let's hear it. Here's the deal. I have some other, um, businesses on the side. One of them is helping Nelson Latimer spend his dad's money to make himself feel like a gangster. Get to the point. I'm getting to it. Me and Nelson are supposed to be meeting some gentlemen from Good Neighbor to exchange Nelson's cash for their chems. My plan is simple. We take the money and the chems. I don't know. An awful lot of unknowns. Trust me, we can do this, no problem. The meeting's always in the same place. They always bring the same number of guys. They'll never know what hit them. I'm in. Let's do this. Now you're talking. I promise, you won't regret it. In a few hours, we're both going to be sitting pretty. You cause trouble, there's gonna be trouble. Get it? Hey there, mister. Hi there. Do all you outsiders wear such funny clothes? I wanted so much more from my life than this. Ugh. Hey. Don't let my husband drag you into Cook any won't be bothering of Darcy nonsense. anymore. Good. I knew you could handle him. Oh, and I managed to scrape together what I promised. Here. It was worth it to get Darcy back. So, what happened? Did he give you any trouble? No. He, uh... Listened to reason. Okay. I don't care what you had to do. Just as long as he leaves Darcy alone from now on. Anyway, thanks for your help. I'll, uh, see you around. Good luck. I hope it all works out. Thanks. I'm telling you, it ain't just a story. University point, that settlement on the coast.
much longer. Relax. I'm sure he'll be here. <coughs> yeah, well, you better, better get be. the fuck out of here this if you know what's bullshit. good for you. Cook sent me. He has a message for you. Cook told you about this? Where the hell is Cook anyway? What is this, Nelson? Cook couldn't make it, so he sent me instead. The fuck he did? Trish, kill this asshole! <laughs> Don't move. Uh, you don't have to kill me. I won't talk. I swear. How can I be sure you won't send anyone after me? You're not actually thinking about leaving her alive. I'll tell Morosky it was Gunners, okay? You can trust me. And uh, uh, I'll give up Morosky's chem lab. This here? <laughs> this is nothing compared to what he's got stashed there. Keep talking. Where do you think these kids come from? We gotta laugh. Right here in the Commonwealth. But you'll never find it on your own. Not without my help. Tell me what you know first. Well, okay. I'm trusting you, right? The lab is in the old Forley fish packing plant on the waterfront in South Boston. Let's hear about all the security. The place is overrun with feral ghouls, which don't even look twice at my crew, because they're all ghouls like me. My idea, by the way. I assume there's more to it than getting past the ferals. You assume, right? The real security is a system of tripwires that have to be triggered in exactly the right order to open the door to the lab. You never even know the lab was there when the door is closed. Sounds like a pretty secure operation. You better believe it. And if Cook hadn't been such a backstabbing son of a bitch, nobody would have ever cracked it. Sticks and stones. There's a terminal that will bypass the tripwires and open the door to the lab. And I have the password. So, I have your promise, right? If I give you the password, you let me walk? I'll definitely kill you if you don't tell me. You bastard. Mm, I guess I gotta trust you. The password is Applejack. There, now you've got everything. And I'm completely screwed forever. I hope you can live with that.
your help, pal. I hate raiders. I kill them every chance. I'm glad you're on. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we have. Out here, you gotta take things one day at a time.
I knew you would help us.
need to get back to Diamond City one of these days. Biggest town I ever saw.
Can I help you? I heard your radio broadcast. Sounded as if you were starting some kind of settlement. Is that about the right of it? Come here again. You looking for a new place to settle? Not me, no. But I have something that might help you with those that are. Here, catch. It's called an ASAM sensor. And if you're going to be building settlements, these things are what you'll want to use. Okay. Care to elaborate? Mm, I think a demonstration is in order. Place that ASAM down on the ground somewhere. Go ahead. Any old spot will do.
Hey there. Hey, Slick. You've made the smart move of choosing Rocket Brand ASAP sensors for your city planning needs. Hey. Unlike other less reliable multi purpose sensors, Rocket Brand ASAP sensors offer the level of versatility and connectability that you deserve. The back hurts, the feet hurt, everything. Guess I'll just have to rely on whoever runs this place to build a hole for me. Don't sell yourself short. You're right. If only I had a little guidance, I could probably build something myself. But wait, what is this? Why, it's an ace, Sam! Just the thing I need! I get it, okay? Let's be done with this already. Okay, okay. I can see you're not enjoying the performance. I'll quit with the bad acting. But please, keep listening. You see, what an ASAM does is allow pretty much anyone to build themselves whatever they might need. Even if that person has never even picked up a hammer in their entire life. Here, let me show you what I mean. Is pretty much done. Just about anyone in the settlement can claim the area and start building for themselves. that the ASAM provides are so easy to understand, even a savage could do it with no problem. Right, just one more nail. Hey there. Dynamic, yeah? easy built blueprint software. With Rock Gebrand ASAP sensors, everyone can have a roof over their head. After all, a warm and dry citizen is a productive citizen. And there you have it. A fully built home. Ready for habitation by some lucky wastelander. And you barely had to lift a finger. Not too shabby, huh? So now that you've seen what they can do, what do you think? Are ASAM sensors something you might be interested in? Yes, I'm really interested. <laughs> I thought you might be. Unfortunately, right now, I only have the one sensor on me. However, I can provide you with more. And once you have more, I can show you even more stuff you could build with them. Homes are just the start. But first, I'm gonna have to ask for a little task done in return. Of course. Just tell me what you need help with. All right, here it is. I got me a workshop in a town called Concord. Nice enough place, fairly quiet. 
or at least it was. But just recently, I returned from a trade run to find the entire town overrun by raiders. And now I can't get near my workshop. A small group I could deal with, but there's too many for me to take on alone. So I'm gonna need someone to help take them out. So there it is. That's the job. You help me get rid of these raiders, I'll give you more ASAMs. And show you how to build even more stuff with them. There's no need to worry. I already took care of those raiders. You did? Huh. I need to go check this out for myself. Not that I don't believe you, but, you know, I'll meet you outside of Concord Hardware. Then we can discuss your payment. Hope you ain't one of them since he had a spy on me. Farm's not much. But something. Huh? If you need fixing up, let's get a